Adobe Flash Professional makes creating a new action script project very simple. In this lesson, we'll examine a few ways in which to create a new AS3 project from scratch. So here we see Flash Professional, and this is the splash screen in Flash Professional, which you can always go in and you know tell Flash that you don't want to see this anymore, but it actually is quite helpful because it has in this middle column here shortcuts to create new types of action script or flash documents. So we can see here that this first one is a new action script 3.0 document. This will create a an FLA for us that compiles with action script 3.0. And an FLA document stands for flash authoring document. And if you're using Flash Professional, that's what you're going to have to use to actually create an ActionScript 3 project. So if we click that, we see here that it creates a new FLA document for us. We have a stage established here in the center, and we can look at the properties of this document. So we can see right away that this is indeed an ActionScript 3.0 document. And you can choose between ActionScript 1, 2, and three here. So if we were to create a new document in some other way, we'd be able to actually change it from one version of ActionScript to another. So the way that we would do that, if we go in through the file menu here, we can create a new document. And this will open up the new document dialog. And from here, we have a lot of the same types of files that we noticed in the splash screen, except we can actually tweak some of the different properties of these files. So right here, if I create a new ActionScript 3 document, we can tweak the width and the height of this document, and the frames per second, and so forth. We can also change the background color, and whether we want to autosave or not. And we also have a description here that explains that it's going to create a new FLA file for us and that the published settings are going to be set to ActionScript 3. That's exactly what we want. You can see here as well that we've also got options to create a new ActionScript 3.0 class or an interface, a basic ActionScript file, or even an ActionScript communication file. An ActionScript communication file is something that's created for use on the server side with Flash Media Server. A basic ActionScript file is simply going to create an untemplated ActionScript file for us. So the most basic type of ActionScript file you could have, you'd pretty much have to fill in everything yourself. An interface is going to create an interface for us. And if you're familiar with object-oriented concepts, the concept of an interface will be familiar to you. It's basically a contract between different classes. And then we have the basic class file. And this is probably what you're going to use when you create a new ActionScript class. But any of those, when we're working within Flash Professional, are going to be need to be bound to an ActionScript 3.0 FLA. So this is definitely what you want to choose first. And here's our FLA created. Again, bound to ActionScript 3. And you can see here that actually the uh, properties that I changed before I chose to create a new file actually did carry over. So now we see the stage is quite a bit darker. So in this lesson, we've seen how to go about creating a new ActionScript project within Flash Professional.